What's up, Amy? It's your boy, Dylan Sangley, and welcome back to Dylan Sangley TV. So today is day number three of the $30 challenge. So we're not gonna buy too much inventory today. All we're gonna do is show you how to post on different platforms that I personally post on, and I'm gonna show you guys the journey of how I started. So a lot of you guys have been saying, Yo, Dylan, you should probably show us how to promote on Ofra, Facebook Marketplace, um, eBay, Grail, all that stuff. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I know that you guys were kind of iffy about me just posting my Instagram because of my big following. But guys, that is no excuse. Get out there, start promoting, start posting. It doesn't like it didn't matter if I had 100 followers, followers versus if I had 15,000 followers plus. Okay, I was still posting on Instagram because that was what I knew. Social media is what I knew and that was the only platform that I would usually post my items on. So I'm showing you guys how I did it and you guys could give and take whatever you guys want from, from my journey, but I'm gonna show you guys how I how I did it personally. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, share the video. It takes less than a minute. So now let's get into the video. My boy Tyler pulled up. You see him, you see him. That's my boy right there. He just declared for the 2020 draft. What's up, T? <laughs> yeah. Say what's up to you too. Yes, sir, what's good Let's go see what we got. Got the trap lows. Gotta see. Size 14. Yeah. Tyler give me the, the biggest heat, bro. Size 14, size 13 and a half. Hey, biggest size when you need to come get it. <laughs> Facts. I used uh, the check check app to run it through real quick. So if you want to get drafted to a team, what team would you want to get drafted to? Don't matter. Any Don't matter. Team. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. I'll take advantage of those. So. Facts, bro. Yeah. Facts. Where'd you go to high school, bro? Las Vegas High School. Then I transferred to LA. Uh, Lewis Academy in LA. Yeah. So where'd you go to college? College. Let, let the people know. Let's go bus. You know what's up. <laughs> and one and done. One and done right here, man. I wish. <laughs> Soon. Just pray for my boy. You already know. What uh, what do you think you got to work on for the draft, bro? In order to get drafted? Just my shooting. Yeah? Just my shit. Getting stronger? Of course. Yes, sir. Of course, man. My boy training on it daily, man. We, we grind on stop right here. We fan right here. Brothers right here. Brothers for life. Yes, sir. You already know. Hey, so yeah, let's go get you paid right now. They good? I will pay, right? Yeah. Let's get it. I'm going to use 14. I know. Let's see. I'm about to pay Tyler real quick. We agreed to 515. I'm about to pay it. Send it. Double click that. Boom. All right, T. Let me know if you got that, bro. Yes, sir. Let him know. Oh, let me see. Hold on. Let me bust that out real quick. So just to let you guys know, the shoes that we just bought, the Travis Scotts and the Flu Games were not a part of the $30 challenge. But I wanna show you guys how much we spent for day number one. I'm actually gonna calculate this in front of you guys just to see how much we spent in total. Okay, so if we do 215 plus 23.15, that comes out to $25.30. So day two, we decided to buy the Versace jacket that's 108.36 plus 33.60. So now that is the final number. Okay, so let's just do it one more time. 
just to make sure. Plus 108.36 plus 33.60. Okay, so this is the actual number that we've spent in the past two days. All right, we spent $167.26. So now, if we go to the challenge on TikTok, if you guys wanna keep track of how much I'm at, so what I did was I subtracted how much I initially, from the initial investment, I subtracted 108 because I just recently sold the Versace jacket for $185. So now we're at $321, guys, from $30 in less than 48 hours, okay? So we still have a lot of time left. Tomorrow we're gonna go to garage sales, yard sales, etc. We're gonna We're gonna be there at like around like seven or 8 a.m. Early bird gets the worm with my boy, Paul V. So now we're actually gonna show you guys how we list one of these products right here, okay? So we're gonna do the Versace jacket. We actually just sold this like I just said. So of course we have to take off the tags. Okay, just make sure that it doesn't damage the product. Boom. So you're simply just gonna get a clean background, okay? I'm not saying use your, use your, your tile like I am. You get like a turf background. You could get something outside. You could, uh, I wouldn't recommend to use like a carpet background. Um, I just, it doesn't really seem professional to me. So I would use, this is actually a, a pretty clean background right here. So you're just gonna lay it down like this. Okay, make sure everything is like pretty even. It looks good, not too many wrinkles, right? It takes just a few seconds or a few minutes just to get it where you want it to be. Guys, always remember that brand representation. Remember, always remember that about the brand representation. You always want to represent your brand in a unique way, in a clean way, okay? So, go like this. Make sure the sleeves are good. Like I said, no wrinkles. You might want to do something a little, bit, a little bit with the collar, okay? So now, it looks presentable, it looks good to go. So now we're gonna pull out our handy dandy device, our cell phones. If you guys are watching this video, you guys most likely have a cell phone. So we're gonna do square, that's perfect for uh, Instagram, right? So what we're simply gonna do is, we're gonna go over the product. Okay, make sure it's centered. And you can even adjust the lighting. So I like it where the item pops. So the item pops about like right there. Get in a little bit. Boom. Okay. So now this is just an example of the photo I would post on OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Instagram, okay? Like I said when I started the video, I only posted these items on Instagram, okay? Because that's what I knew, okay? Uh, then I, I kind of progressively uh, posted them on Snapchat, posted them on Facebook, and then I finally got to eBay, okay? Do you use eBay on, and so use eBay and all these other online platforms to, uh, at your own risk, okay? I wouldn't really, recommend posting products that are very, very expensive. I'd probably just post, you know, like the Pokemon cards, like all the Pokemon cards that I just bought. I'd, I'd be posting all these on eBay, right? I probably wouldn't post, you know, I probably wouldn't post Court Purples on there. Very, very expensive products. Like another great example is the Travis Scott's. I would never post anything like this on eBay, uh, Depop, because you could easily get scammed. Um, there's different ways to get scammed. If you guys want me to show you guys and tell you guys ways that you could potentially get scammed, comment down below and let me know if you guys want a video of that and I'll drop, I'll drop that for you guys. Um, but yeah, everything like on eBay, like I said, Pokemon cards, cheap t-shirts, bucket hats, I'll probably post on there. Let me give you a great example for this Versace jacket now. So let's say we post it on my Instagram, okay? Let's go to your story, go here.
All you do is list it on your story and you should be good. Wait for people to uh, DM you about it and then you guys work out a deal. I, I usually use Cash App, Venmo, or Zelle. Cash App, Venmo, and Zelle are friends and family payments. Uh, you could also use goods and services, but that also takes a percentage of your sale. Uh, so obviously I'm a trusted seller, so a lot of people use Cash App, Venmo, and Zelle with me. Um, another platform that you, can post, that you can post on is obviously Snapchat. Uh, Facebook Marketplace is another great one. So with Facebook Marketplace, all you gotta do is click this button right there, right next to the home button, and click sell. Okay, once you click sell, you're gonna click items. Once you click items, you're gonna add, you're gonna click add photos. Okay, boom. Let's say I wanna add that photo. Okay, you could add a rotating view, you add the title, the price, okay, all that stuff, the category, and just add the description, any of the flaws, and then the product tags. Okay, very, very self-explanatory. So we're gonna do this real quick. So now, this is the most important part. So now you get to this part, all right? So now it automatically lists it on Facebook Marketplace, but now you have a choice of listing it on all of these Facebook groups, okay? So in order to get in one of these Facebook groups, you have to join them by just looking up different groups in your local community. So there's a bunch of Facebook groups in your local community where you're at. So some of the Facebook groups that I'm in, in Vegas, is obviously Vegas Sneakerheads, 702 Buy and Sell, Sell and Swap, uh, Las Vegas Yard Sale, Cream, all these Facebook groups, because obviously I'm a sneaker dude, right? So other than this, since this is a jacket, I'll probably sell it here, post it there, post it anywhere that's relevant, okay? Boom, Las Vegas Clothing is another good one. Okay, so now all we got to do, once we do that, publish, publishes, and review. So now all the Facebook groups are going to review if this product is adequate for their, their Facebook group. So once they review it, you're going to go here, you're going to click this little person right here, and I'll show you all of your listings that you have up. Okay, so you could also go here to listen or create a new listing. These are all the active listings that I have up for my sneakers, right? All the ones I haven't sold yet. These are all the ones that I have sold. If you do sell it on other platforms though, you can also list it as sold through, through the Facebook marketplace, through the Facebook app actually. So next, another platform that I would post it on is either Twitter, OfferUp. OfferUp is very, very self-explanatory. Same thing as Facebook Marketplace, eBay, obviously, like I said before, Grailed, Etsy, Mercari, um, Go is another one for shoes. If you guys have any shoes that you guys cannot flip, unlike StockX, where you have to mainly sell brand new shoes. I'm not sure if you can sell used. I'm pretty sure you can, but I don't, I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't really sold on StockX as much, but Go, you can for sure. I've sold a lot of my used shoes on Go. If you guys have any other questions on how to list on you know, what, what I've experienced personally, please, please, please comment down below and let me know what I can help you guys on as far as resale wise. Um, like I said, my, like I said, guys, you have to be patient. You have to be patient because it's a whole process. You can't expect to list the product and it sells within a few minutes, right? You have to work up to that point in order for, for it to be like that. If you're starting off, like I said, just be consistent. Post those products every single day on your Instagram story. Post it on your feed, right? Um, share it with your friends to let your friends know that you have this, this, and that. Go live. There's different ways that you guys can make money off of these products that you get from the thrift. And you do not wanna just minimize yourself to, to one thing thing that people don't understand is you can make so much more money rather than just buying an item for three dollars at the thrift and flipping it for ten dollars you know the next day there's so much more to it you know you could do free giveaways you could do raffles 
You could potentially give it to a bigger influencer just to just to gift it to them, and they'll, they'll shout you out. Once they give you a shout out, then then you'll have more 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 people on your page, and then you'll get more followers. There's so many different ways, like marketing. So marketing is a, is a great way to, to keep growing your brand. Obviously, marketing is very very important. Think of it, man. If you if you were to gift one of these bigger influencers or a celebrity one of your products that you bought for very very cheap, right? You're gonna have you're gonna obviously get way, way more inventory as you guys keep growing, okay? But the importance is people on your page. The more people on your page, the more sales it's gonna have, right? Word of mouth business is like the best business. So make sure you guys keep networking. Talk to people, talk to people, talk to people. All right, guys, comment down below. Leave your questions down below. So next video, we're gonna be yard selling, garage selling. You know, we're back on the hustle. Today we're just a little run, run over of how we're gonna list the products on all these platforms. Go so like, comment, and subscribe, and of course share the video. It takes less than a minute. That being said, I'll see y'all soon. I love y'all so much. You know, remember, don't sleep. I got the heat.